Oblivion Song issue number one. Could this be Robert Kirkman's next hit series? Stay tuned for the review, guys. Hey comic book fans, welcome back to Comic Book Corner 2.0 and fans, you're back with me, Mike Spider Slayer. Get ready to do that all-important comic book review so you, the fans, can make a decision on what comic books to buy. And today, guys, we're going to be talking about a brand new series from Robert Kirkman. This is Oblivion Song, issue number one. And the artwork is done by Lorenzo De Felici. And uh, if you're thinking that this is the next Walking Dead or the next big hit for Robert Kirkman or the one that's going to get you millions of dollars, you know... I don't know, but I can tell you that this was a good first issue and that if you want to read a good story, I think this might be it. This is a really good setup for the first issue, okay? So, first things first, let's let's show off some of this artwork here. This is a fairly new artist. I don't know too much about him, but the artwork in here was nice. The colors in here were nice as well. We get to see the world in here. We get to see our main character by the name of Nathan Cole. Um, we get to see these crazy like creatures in this world called Oblivion um, and whatnot. And uh, it's just really interesting facial expressions in here at, at, as well. I think maybe at times, maybe the characters' uh, faces looked a little bit too muddy. But nevertheless, I still enjoyed it. I thought it was a good looking book. Uh, and... Uh, it, it was fine for me. So, let's talk about this story, okay? Now, for you guys thinking that this is the next Walking Dead book, this is the next apocalypse happening, um, I don't think so. I think it's, it's, it's similar in some ways, but very different in other ways, okay? So, I'll review the issue here. We'll go over the story, and hopefully you'll make a decision on Oblivion Song. So... The first things first is we find out that this story takes place in Philadelphia and this this oblivion happened this what what we call as a transference something happened to where it took 300,000 people and just transferred them to this oblivion and that's where these people are in this weird weird world type of atmosphere and this main character his name is Nathan Cole somehow he invented this technology to go into oblivion and to rescue people. So what happens is the government funds him, um, you know, grants him money to create a team, a research team, theme, things like that, to go into oblivion and to rescue people. Well, what happens when we get to the beginning of this issue is that we run into Nathan at the point where the money has run dry. He's come up with less and less people to rescue. And so the government has shut him down. And in the issue, we see that he's on his own with a group of people rescuing, you know, just going out there and rescuing people that might be still survivors in the oblivion. So when the issue opens up, we get to see him actually rescue Two people, they're uh, by the name of Crenshaw is their last name, which I thought was kind of funny. And you get to see the world in here. You get to see him battling these monsters and whatnot. And they're very grotesque type of monsters. Very creative. They're almost like slothy looking, you know, big and just like, bleh, 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 you know, and just like, and you get to see Nathan try to um, escape. Since he's not funded by the government anymore, his, his equipment doesn't work quite right. So he has to like inject himself with this, uh, this potion or whatnot, and then it trans him, transfers him back to normal Earth. And so in this book, we get introduced to Bridget and Duncan. They work with him on trying to help people uh, once they come back from the other, from the oblivion and whatnot. And we get to see that this makes the news. And being that this makes the news and that he's rescued two more people, um, Nathan feels that he could get government funded again. But after he goes to the government, they say no, he is not going to get government funded. And not only is there a motive here uh, for him just rescuing people, but there's a, a hidden agenda in this book 
on why he goes to the oblivion to actually uh, rescue people. There's more to that than meets the eye, okay? So, and we get to see that in this issue. We also find out why this book is called The Oblivion Song as well, which I thought was brilliant too. And they hit that right out of the park after reading this very first issue. So, Towards the end of the book, we wind up seeing Nathan. He goes back into the oblivion. He's searching for that certain somebody that's important in, into his life. And what happens is at the very end of this issue, we wind up finding out that there's people spying on him, you know, and, and watching him and seeing him make these transfers going from oblivion back to where he came from. So they feel that this species is invading their territory and that's kind of how the issue ends and who the person is at the end of the book was actually pretty cool so what did i think about oblivion song issue number one i thought this was a really well done book uh right from the start we get to see nathan's cole's objective here on why he's the one going into oblivion to begin with we get the reason why this title is called Oblivion Song as well. The world is quite interesting and we still have a lot more to learn about it. We just scratched the surface here. And what's going to be the end game in this whole thing? And how did this whole thing start it? Okay. Now, I hope it's not like The Walking Dead where we never find out how the Oblivion actually came. I want to find out how this all started, really how Nathan Cole, you know, really, I guess, you know, came up with the technology, what more of a background he has, and things like that. But knowing Robert Kirkman, I feel that he dives deep into good character development, and we'll get to see these characters get flushed out more. So I'm really interested to see where this book goes, and I'm definitely on board with issue number two. And if you're looking for a good story, um, I definitely say pick this one up. I don't think you're going to be disappointed with this one. I think this has great, great potential. Again, will it be the magnitude of The Walking Dead? Who knows, you know? Um, you know, every image comic book number one these days, people pick up because they think it's going to be the next big thing. We never know. At the end of the day, pick up the story because you want to read the story, not just for the pure value of a book. So, again, guys, at the end of the day, I'm going to give this book probably a four and a half out of five stars. This was a really good book. I definitely suggest you pick it up. So, guys, in the comments below, tell me what you thought if you read Oblivion Song issue number one. Were you a fan? Were you not a fan? Where do you see this book going? What are you speculating? And fans, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel. This channel does not work without your support. And fans, as always, thank you so much for watching Comic Book Corner 2.0. And until the next comic book review, this is Mike Spicer signing off. Take care, guys. Bye.